What's up guys, my name is Blake and today we're talking about the Canon R5 and the R6, so let's go. Alright, so as you guys know, over the last couple of months I purchased this camera right here that I'm recording on, the uh, EOS RP. I love it, um, I love taking photos with it, love the video, I did a review on it, if you want to see the review, make sure you check that on the channel, I'll link it in the description below, um, so check that out. Um, so I, and I've been kind of keeping up on Canon cameras and seeing what's the next thing to come out and all that stuff, just for curiosity, not because I have the money to get it or anything. Canon dropped the... R5 and the R6, talking about the specs. The R5, when people started talking about the R5 or the possibility of the R5, a lot of people didn't think that it was gonna happen because there were so many different specs on it that um, kind of seemed like too good to be true. So, uh, for instance, like anytime you have like 4K on a camera, so like the RP's got 4K, you ha usually have to sacrifice something. So either like you go to 4K and it crops in, so you're not full frame anymore, or when you go to 4K, um, you lose your autofocus or you the type of autofocus that you have. Like So like when I go to 4K on the RP, I lose the dual pixel autofocus, so it just goes to like a t contrast based autofocus, which is a lot um, suckier. So the R5 does all the normal full HD, ultra HD modes um, in every frame rate. And then it shoots in 4K in every frame rate, so including 120 frames per second. It'll shoot that 4K in full frame and with dual pixel autofocus in C log. So literally, you're not sacrificing anything when you're shooting in 4K with this thing. Whether you want to do 120 frames per second, get some nice, smooth, buttery slow mo or just an, your normal shot 4K. Um, it also has an 8K sensor on it and it's able to shoot 8K raw video in C-Log with the autofocus. It's just incredible. So when you do shoot 4K, it uses that 8K sensor and oversamples it so that by the time it brings it down to a 4K file, that image is a lot nicer than a normal 4K file because it uses that 8K and oversamples the 4K. So yeah, a lot of cool stuff. Um, the R5, I looked up a lot of specs. I watched the Peter McKinnon review on it if you want to see that. Check that out, I'll link that in the description below as well. He did a great video on it, um, showing what the footage li looks like. Basically, it's like a little cinema camera. So like, if you're, if you're into cameras at all, cinema cameras are really high quality, you get a really distinct look from a cinema camera, same type of cameras that you'd use to shoot like a Hollywood film and all that stuff, um, or, or a super professional um, like documentary film. This thing has like, has like cinema camera quality in a DSLR mirrorless package. So you're getting so much quality in a small portable little package, it's incredible, it's crazy. All right, and then besides all the really cool video aspects of it, how how capable it is with video, it's also super capable with photos, obviously, because Canon camera takes super good still images. It's 45 megapixel sensor on it, which is incredible. Um, it's got a whole a whole slew of new autofocus features. It even has like an animal autofocus feature, which includes um, like focusing on the eyes, just like so on this camera, I can set it to where it finds your eye and then it focuses on that, so you have super duper clean autofocus all the time so like even when I come straight in it finds my eye sees it and I come back out it's locked out of my eye the whole time it's got an animal autofocus mode so you can set it to when you're like shooting photos of dogs of cats or whatever it'll still detect their eyes it'll detect their faces still very very cool stuff so that's the R5 in a nutshell um, I'll have a link to it in B&H if you want to go look up all the specs and all the stuff like I said I'll have a link to Peter McKinnon's video too with the review that he did on the other day super great video go check that out um, the R6 is basically so it's kind of like when the Canon came out with the R and then the RP. You have the R, which is like the really nice version, more expensive, more features. Then the RP, which is this camera, still really great features, um, still a really good option, but a lot cheaper because it has some of those, a lot of those features that the R has. Um, it's dropped off a lot of features to, for the RP just to make it cheaper. The body's a little bit different, yada, yada, yada. So same thing with the, with the R5 and the R6. The R5 is like the, the beast. The R6 is like, it's like little brother. Still really good, still um, amazing quality, all the good stuff, it's just missing a couple of things. I, th I don't think it's capable of like the 8K raw footage and all that stuff, and I, I don't know exactly what the R6 is capable of, but I do know that you can you can still shoot in 4K, I think you can still shoot 4K full frame, autofocus, all the stuff. It won't have all of the 8K sampling, all that stuff, because it doesn't have that kind of sensor on the, R on the uh, R6. And then the other biggest difference is, like, it's got a 20 megapixel sensor as opposed to a 45 megapixel sensor. So when you're taking still images, you are going to notice that difference as well. Um, like I said, I didn't dive too much into the R6 just because I was really intrigued by the R5 and how amazing it is. Um, and, like, and like I said, Peter McKenna's video, he goes over all this stuff as well, too, so... Link in the description, again. So, all right guys, so that is the Canon R5 and the R6. What are you guys' thoughts on it? I would really, um, I'm really interested in seeing what you guys think of it, if you like it, if you think it's gonna be really nice. Um, oh yeah, and then the prices, I will list the prices uh, right here. Here's the R5, and then the price for the R6 right here. So there you go. If you have any questions, comments, 
anything at all, please keep the conversation going down in the comments below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.